G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatic TV. Today we're gonna to be having a reef test on the Reef Delete. We're gonna be doing an unboxing, we're gonna use it in the store, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think about this new product. So I have to say, I'm very impressed with the packaging on this Reef Delete. As you can see, you've got this beautiful sheath. It gives you a lot of information on it, but then you open up and you've got this secondary box, which then opens up to two more boxes. And in this first box, you can see I've already opened this one up previously. In this first box, you have some information. You've got your ITC sticker. You've got this uh, test card, which is actually an interesting thing. And we'll look at this more in, in a sec. Um, this helps you to identify how much uh, UVC your reef delete is actually putting out. You've got a bit of information about the battery and how to use your product. But then you get to the second part here, and this is where it gets really cool. You've got this, it's like a, an expensive pair of sunglasses. You open up the box and you've got your reef delete inside this little uh, sheaths thing. thing. And, and this is a product. You can see it's a really beautiful product and uh, it, it is a, a cool piece of kit. You, you can see that as you uh, open up the box and the weight of it and everything about this product, it, it really is very cool. But how effective is this product? Now, we use, the idea of this is to, to remove pests from your aquarium, specifically sessile pests, such as pest anemones, uh, Aptasia, Majanos, uh, things like uh, Xenia, Anthelia, and uh, corals, and things that will actually encrust onto your rock and need to be removed. Um, I've always been looking for a product that's uh, more effective than the typical Aptasia Rex or hot water for things like Majanos, uh, as well as Palithoas. Now, I'm not too sure how this is gonna work in the Palithoas, but I have been using this for uh, the last week or so, and I'm going to show you how we use it and exactly what I think about how effective it is at killing pests in your tank. One of the things that surprised me when I first started using this product is that it is actually designed to be used underwater. And in fact, you can only use it underwater. So the battery is sealed inside this chamber at the bottom here. And to charge the battery, which you need to do when you first uh, get your reef delete, you actually put a micro USB into this little hole here. It, the battery then, once it's charged, will glow. Uh, it has a little green indicator light. Once that changes from red to green, you're, you're good to go. And you put your battery back in. There's a seal so that you then screw that back into place, ensuring that it's nice and tight so it's fully uh, sealed and then you're ready to go. Now you do have this button and that is the button that you're gonna be pressing to emit the, e, the radiation that this Reef Delete puts out. Now it puts out UVC, so it's, it's not a laser. It's different to some of the other products that have been on the market for a while. Um, it puts out UVC, so it's actually more like a UV sterilizer. It's using the same UVC radiation, uh, which uh, effectively uh, damages DNA of organisms to the point that they die. And you can only use it under underwater. There's two little electrodes under this cover here. They're a bit hard to see, but uh, they have to be underwater for this to be used. And something else that we're going to do when we use this in a product in, a, in the tank in a sec is we have to use protective glasses. So that, that is very important. Uh, you definitely need to ensure that you are very safe and uh, uh, responsible when you're using this product. So we're gonna put on our uh, safety glasses and we'll show you exactly how we use the Reef Delete. The way you use the Reef Delete is very simple. You put the whole unit under the water and you need to get as close as possible to your target species as possible. Now, there's an Aptasia just under here. I'm pointing to it right now. And this is gonna be the Aptasia which I'm going to use this on. And what you do is get as close as possible, press the button and it started to emit the UVC. Now, the trick is you really need to hold it on the uh, target uh, pest 
for as long as possible and uh, the Aptasia has shrunk back into its hole but I'm I can just see that it's still it's still there and I'm holding the reef delete in the on position on the Aptasia and the longer you can leave it there the better now you certainly have the problem that sometimes it takes multiple uh, goes with the reef delete to actually kill an organism. As I said, I've been uh, using this the last week or so, and I've found that some things die within a single application. Um, I killed a, an Aptasia in my display tank with uh, one go that I, I reckon I held it for there probably three minutes or so. Um, but this one, I'm going to uh, pull away and have a close look. So now I've not it's in the off position i'll remove my safety glasses and have a closer look and it's very difficult to see but the idea of the reef delete is that you do use it over a number of days um, and this one because it did pull into its uh, little hole it might take a couple more days um, of another you know 30 seconds to a minute before we effectively kill that one now i've got a couple more down here that i want to get so I'm just going to do these quickly and uh, I'll give you a bit of a summary of what I think that this is best for. Okay, so I'm just going to put my, my glasses on before I use it. So it's really hard to see exactly what you're doing when you have the safety glasses on. And unlike a laser, it doesn't really put out a strong amount of light. So you do need to be careful that you are focusing the UVC um, on the pest species and sometimes I'll stop using it as I have now, have a bit of a look and you only need to have your safety glasses on when you're actually emitting the UVC. So now I can see where I'm at, I'm going to go back, safety glasses on. Okay. So, I'll do a couple more, and then I'll tell you exactly what I think about the reef delete. So, I've just given it the reef delete, uh, rinse in RO water, and I've just dried it off thoroughly with the towel. So, uh, now I'd like to tell you exactly what I think the use uh, and the applications for the reef delete are. Um, but first of all, I, I just need to talk about uh, it, the fact that it's a relatively difficult product to use. And one of the reasons why I find it difficult is because you've got to have the whole unit under the water and it can be difficult, especially with the glasses on, to be able to see the pest that you're targeting and then to know whether or not you're actually emitting the UVC. And so one of the things that I mentioned at the start, you get this little UVC test card and what it allows you to do is ensure that your uh, Reef Delete is emitting UVC. You put this under the water, you then put your, it's not thoroughly dry, you then put your uh, Reef Delete up to it, press the button, and if the Reef Delete is working, you'll see very clearly a, a bright uh, yellow orange dot um, in the center where the UVC is being emitted. So that allows you to know that your Reef Delete is working. But when you're aiming it onto your pest, it's difficult to, to know that you're actually getting it because there's not much light that's emitted. However, I, I can usually see that the, the pest, anemone, typically Aptasia, withdraws quite quickly and you can see that it's in a, a world of pain. And uh, some of the ones that I was doing yesterday, I actually have killed with a, seemingly killed so far, I, I would have to say, uh, with a single dose, probably one or two minutes. So it certainly is very effective and ensuring that uh, you use it properly, I, I think it definitely has an application in the aquarium hobby. Um, now, with the different pests that it targets, Aptasia is probably the most uh, common of these pests. And I find Aptasia relatively easy to control. You've got a number of products on the market, Aptasia X, for example, as well as biological, contro biological controls such as peppermint shrimp and uh, copper band butterflies and Australian stripies, and they're very effective. But what the Reef Delete allows you to do is target these Aptasia that are in difficult positions. 
And uh, for example, in the display tank, we had an Aptasia which was upside down. Now, uh, when Aptasia are upside down, they're difficult to target with the Aptasia Rex because uh, of the position. And it was also quite a difficult position to get with hot water. By the time I get into position, the, the, the water's cooled off and it doesn't really do the job. So in, this, in that case, the uh, Reef Delete was excellent and it seems like it's done the job in one go. But the main reason why I am impressed with the uh, Reef Delete is because it targets things that are much more difficult to kill and Majano anemones are the number one that I am impressed with with this. Uh, they, they have been a difficult thing for me to control in certain tanks. And if I had a Reef Delete when I first noticed them, I would have been able to get on top of it straight away and stop the spread of uh, what is a very difficult pest to control. Um, I also like the idea of trying these on pallies. Um, of course, pally throwers, I need to be particularly careful because of the toxins that they will emit. But there are certain applications where I think that the Reef Delete is going to be perfect. And I think that the type of person that this is uh, a perfect product for is people like myself. People that have either got, uh, that either work at an aquarium store or uh, have got a large number of aquariums, having this on hand to get the pests that you can't otherwise kill with other systems would be absolutely perfect. But in particular, maintenance uh, guys and girls, people that are doing maintenance on aquariums professionally, having one of these in your kit would be a really great tool to have. Now, they're not, they're not cheap. Uh, these are actually uh, over 600 and I think it's $650. So because of that price, they're, they're not the sort of thing that I think people would run out and buy to control Aptasia in their tank. But for people that are serious reefers uh, or professionals in the industry, this is something that having on hand may be of great benefit for you. So that's it for uh, this reef test on the Reef Delete. Uh, hopefully you've learned a little something about this new product to Gallery Aquatica. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy, happy reefing. That's it for this week's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Don't forget to like and comment on all our videos and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to Gallery Aquatica TV for more exciting episodes to come. I'm Cam the Fish Guy, happy reefing. <laughs>